Hello and welcome back to another video and today I'm talking about VAR and why it shouldn't be at the World Cup. Vote up in the poll up there for your opinion. Let me know down below what you think about VAR. Right now and here, make sure you subscribe to reach 2,000 subscribers by the start of May. So you could subscribe, it much, much appreciated. And smash the like button down below. Let's try and smash 40 likes on this video and let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first problem with VAR is how long it takes. It seems to take an age. It takes so, so long for it to even, you know, consider, you know, getting VAR involved. And then it takes three, four, like five minutes in a game, which is ridiculous. And it just is so, so long. And, you know, you've got other issues like people can't, don't understand what's going on. And um, are the decisions actually right, which I'll talk about later. But it just takes way too long. And for fans, it, it just ruins it ruins you know the atmosphere of a game. Uh, that time gets added on at the end, so you can't. The time it's going to end of the game is going to be later, and it just makes games longer. Um, it's just really boring during that period as well. So first reason, first problem with VAR, it takes way too long. All right, so the second problem with VAR is it ruins the enjoyment of scoring a goal. Um, they seem to check every time a goal is scored. Um, they seem to check with VAR just to check that there's nothing wrong with it. That doesn't need to be done. If there's any controversy about a goal, check it. That's fine. Um, that's that's fine with me. But if if the goal is clearly a goal, everyone in the stadiums are fair enough. No players are protesting. Um, even the VAR people, surely they should be able to see if there's any controversy in it. Um, but surely it should be fine anyway. The the ref seen it. He said yeah, it's a goal. Uh, they don't need to check it. It ruins the jubilation of a goal, um, like when you score against Ori, which is fantastic there. Um, and it just ruins it ruins scoring a goal. And that's one of the amazing things about going football, is you get that pandemonium, that absolute excitement when your team scores a goal. Um, so you then have to wait three minutes, and that just ruins it. That ruins the um, scoring a goal. So then it, instead of going from an amazing scenes when we scored against Ori, it just goes to... Yay, the the, uh, the refs have allowed us to score a goal. Um, so yeah, that's the second problem. It ruins the moment when you score a goal. So the third problem is no one knows what is going on. The people at home don't know what's going on. The people at the stadium don't know what's going on. I don't even know what the refs are going on. The players don't know what's going on. Uh, probably the VAR people don't even go, know what's going on. No one knows what's going on. They There needs to be... Um, big screens in a stadium, Premier League level, to be honest, you need to have a, like, championship clubs have got big screens, every Premier League club needs a big screen so they can use VAR, it is very important, uh, they need VAR with big screens, um, so we can actually see, uh, they can actually see what's going on, like what they're doing in rugby, like what they're doing in cricket, and you actually know what's going on, and you need to be able to hear what the VAR people are uh, saying. That's what they're doing in cricket, that's what they do at rugby, so you know there is complete transparency of what's going on. So we don't know what they're talking about. They could be just talking about um, what they're going to be having for tea, for example. You know, it's stupid. They need to make sure... It's another issue why it's already in place now, but um, they need to sort out big screens when they're using VAR, and it just needs to... There needs to be... People need to know what's going on. That is... A sporting event, you pay your money, you should at least know what's going on. So that's the third problem. No one knows what's going on. So the fourth problem is, and um, this one's really stupid. Um, you think when you bring the bring VR into actual competitions, uh, it'd be tried and tested. They know what's going on. It still seems like it's in this sort of uh, experimental phase. It, this should not be happening. There should be. They, it should be um, more efficient and it should be more effective now. It's like they've, they've just thrown it in anyway. Like, what testing have they actually done of this? You know, it just seems like there's been absolutely no testing. Because surely, if you're putting VR in an FA Cup competition, which is one of the, it's the biggest uh, competition uh, in the world and in the World Cup, you do a little bit more testing and people would know actually what's going on. So they have. Um, uh, replays and stuff for the fans you know what's going on in the stadium but no they haven't done that so well done FIFA uh, well done on making the game really really fun um, um, it's just it's just stupid anyway uh, so the fourth problem um, has there actually been any testing done um, and why is it so bad 
Alright, so the fifth problem, and this one is more where the debate is, is it actually needed? Is it really needed? Uh, decisions are always going to be debated. Everyone has an opinion, and that's why everyone likes sport, because everyone has their different opinion. So is there really a need for it? In my opinion, no, we don't need it. Um, if it's going to slow the game down by five minutes, if no one's going to know what the, uh, the game's going on, if it was a quick decision, like you see the replay, and they go boom, we don't need to have a whole one minute decision, and we need to know what's going on. It has to be the best of the best um, for the beautiful game. It needs to be very, very good. Um, and not just random stuff what's going on at the moment. And I still don't think that it's really needed anyway. Because the VAR people can't get the decision 100% right. Everyone has their different opinion. The ref on the, on the, is going to have his own opinion. Everyone's got an opinion. So not everyone will agree with the VAR people. Um, and what pundits have been saying... Oh, we're in an experimental phase. No, that experimental phase should have been back when they were testing this out. And they did, it doesn't seem like there's actually been any testing out of this. And to be at the World Cup, um, I'm really not happy about that. I know that was announced quite a while ago, but I really wanted to do a video on it. Uh, let me know your opinions down below, because I really don't like it. So, should VAR be at the World Cup? Uh, I'll be voting no. Make sure, what, Let me know what you guys vote for. So that was my video of should a VAR be at the World Cup. Uh, make sure you vote in the poll up there to have your say or vote in the comments down below to give a bit more detail. And yeah, subscribe if you're new trying to reach 2,000 subscribers by the start of May. And uh, smash the like button down below. Let's try and smash 40 likes on this video. You've been smashing likes recently with the Paul Ray interview and other stuff as well. And yeah, hopefully you appreciate it. I'm probably going to be maybe doing a few less videos um, at the moment because I've got uh, exams coming up. And I need to be revising. So probably like one in the week. And then hopefully a game on the, a vlog on a Saturday. Or I'll do something else on the Saturday, on the weekend. So I hope you appreciate that. And hope you enjoy the video. Smash the like as well. And I'll see you all later.